when Jesus called uh, his disciples and he said, get in the boat and meet me on the other side. Mm -hmm. We as Westerners wow. just think, well, he's just saying, meet me on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. No big deal. I'm going to go into the mountains and pray and I'll meet you there. We've never been taught the, um, um, the, the, the context of Jesus saying that to his disciples. And the truth is, that's the most terrifying thing he could have ever said to them. Because the other side was the Decapolis, the 10 cities right there, just five miles from Capernaum, where everybody who were pagans at the time ran from the Hebrews who were, they weren't, yeah, they, were, they weren't the Israelites yet. They were the Hebrews who were under Joshua coming in to conquer the, the land. They, they ran and settled in that, that area. Well, that was as unclean as any place could be for a good Jew. So here's Jesus yeah. calling these young, these the 12 men to follow him. Follow him where? To the most disgusting place they've been told their entire lives, never go to the other side. So Jesus even then was saying, if you're going to follow me, if you, if you, we're going to take quite the journey and, and, and you're going to break every rule you've been told all your life is, you know, I would, I decide what's clean and unclean. And that's the reason I that came so powerful. was to, for the, for the broken, the unclean, the unloved, the unsaved. And we have lost our way in, in the Western church. I believe yeah. when we aren't loving people into the kingdom of God every day, something's wrong with our theology.